Welcome back to Adventures in Miller-Land. My name is Chris. I'm Carrie. And now that we're home from our cruise, our first Disney cruise on the Wonder, uh, we want to share some of our haul. So some of the things that we got while on board the Wonder. Also, uh, just some tips that we have as first time cruisers based on our experience. And we also want to share just some of our thoughts on this cruise, being our first cruise, and all with all the COVID regulations happening right now. We we're just excited to share some of those thoughts with you. So we will tell you a little bit about the things that we got on board and we're gonna start with the things that we purchased on board. We actually did not buy very much merchandise. Yeah. We were we were actually slightly disappointed in what was offered. Yeah, going into was it Mickey's main sale and White Caps. Mm -hmm. Those are the two main stores on the Wonder, and they're they're just, we're we're a bit disappointed at how much how little selection there seemed to be. Yeah. I mean, we weren't planning on buying a lot of stuff, but we did want to buy a few things and our kids wanted to buy a few things. Yeah. And especially and for- And they did buy a few things, like two. Very, very, well, we can just start with that. <laughs> yeah. Lindsay, <laughs> Lindsay bought this little magnet. Here, you can hold it up close so they can see it. Which is really cute. Yep. I actually kind of wish I would have gotten that one because I also got a magnet, I'll show you in a second. Mm -hmm. um, Alyssa bought this purse and this purse, was a hard decision for her. She gets a lot of anxiety yeah. about, and this sounds silly because you're buying something on a cruise, but um, our kids save their money for a long time to be able to buy things. And then Alyssa's always afraid she's gonna regret what she bought. So yeah. so she had a hard time picking and this is what she picked and she really loves it. Yeah. So we're happy about that. Very much. Um, I also bought a magnet. I collect magnets in my office, even though I haven't been there in a year and a half. Right now I'm working <laughs> at home, but I'm looking forward to going back and adding a few magnets to my magnet collection. I have a file cabinet that has all my magnets on it. So that was my magnet purchase. Yeah, and other things I got, uh, you saw me wear this hat in a previous video and I really like it. I, I, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit different, but when I saw it, I'm like, oh, does that look like a kid's hat? I wasn't sure but I actually like it a lot. We forgot to say, I was gonna say something else that we were, I don't like to just talk about you know negative things, but I did wanna mention one of the other reasons we were disappointed in the selection at, um, that they had on board with the merchandise. Yeah. And really our kids age of 11 and 13 and their sizes, mm. they just, we really wanted to get them like a Disney cruise shirt. Yeah. They had almost no selections for their sizes because they're, they're, they're a little bigger than kid size and they're a little- Not adult size. They're, I mean, both of our kids can usually wear extra small in like a women's, but they didn't really have any extra smalls or they had very few and they were, it wasn't in anything that they wanted. So yeah. they we were disappointed that they couldn't get a shirt, but we got shirts. We got shirts, I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing one right now too. And then show the other one that you got. Yeah, this is one, I like, I like this one a lot. Just love the color of it. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, really fun. Mine's really simple. I, and comfortable. I, yeah, this one's really comfortable too. I like really simple t-shirts, um, especially since I work at home. I just wear jeans and t-shirts all the time and I love yep. having just some really comfy. Not pajama pants? No, I, I usually wear jeans, but <laughs> that's like my normal uniform. Yeah, and we'll show you the back of the shirt as well because there's a really cool design on the back. Yeah, but it's simple. I just like simple stuff and um, yeah, I like the shirts that we got and I'm yeah. glad at first, they didn't have that one and had seen it on someone else's vlog. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for Chris. Cause he has a couple like sunsetty looking uh, Mickey shirts. And I love that one. So I was really happy when I found it when he wasn't there and I, and I put it aside so I could get it for him. But I did have to tell him it wasn't a surprise. I would have liked to have surprised him, but yeah. that didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. We got this ornament for our Christmas tree. And we usually like to get ornaments when we go places. Um, it's something we've started doing the last couple of years. And that's a really cool, actually I'll show you the back of it. It's really cool. It's got the Disney Cruise logo on it. And yeah, it's got Mickey, Captain Mickey, Captain Minnie on there. One more thing. No, that... I, I'm gonna tell you my favorite thing <laughs> that we got. Is that what you're about to say? Yeah. Although we, it's we a talked little about bit, this in our last video. It's a little bit controversial. Yep. Um, and it's, it has a little bit of coffee on it. But this mug is so cool. <laughs> so here is my favorite mug that we got. This is my favorite thing that we bought. All of the anchors are different characters and they have all these fun details. Like the Winnie the Pooh one has honey dripping off of it. And oh my gosh, it's just so cute. So the thing is though, this was Chris's mug. I remember- Kind he, of. Well, it was your mug, now it's my mug. Well, I wanted to buy a mug. Yeah. And I had a few other ones, and there, there's a there's this really cool one that was a Disney Wonder mug. It was like blue, kind of rounded, square-shaped, 
A little bit unique shape of the mug and it had said Disney Wonder on it. And it, it just had a really cool look to it. I really wanted to get that one. Yeah. And then Carrie was like, I really like that one. You should get that one. You should get that one. Okay, well this And so is I'm like, yeah, it is kind of cool. I love how the characters and the Disney Cruise, I thought, okay, yeah, good idea. That's a good option. So I'm just gonna say, the thing about mugs is we have so many. And he collects mugs, he's got mugs in his office um, from Starbucks, from mm -hmm. all the different places that we've been. And at home, we have so many mugs that we don't have more space for them. And I, I was like, I don't, we don't need another mug, but if he's gonna buy a mug, you should buy this one because it's super cute. And he really regrets that he didn't get that Wonder One. Yeah. And plus I've stolen this one from him. There was also one that was kind of a cool like red smokestack, like Disney Cruise Line smokestack that was a little bit angled. It was kind of fun. Yeah, and it's just, I, I feel bad. Not that I took this mug, but that I didn't let, I don't want to say didn't let him. I, I could have gotten one. Yeah, of course you could have, but. But I just but never went is, back in the shop to, this, to really get it. This doesn't say anything about wonder on it, and I love the mug, and it's mine. Yeah. But I wish we would have also gotten him the mug that said wonder, because yeah. we're not going on the wonder again anytime soon, yeah. so that's a bummer, but, um, but I do love this mug. I'm so glad you like it. It can be my Christmas present. It's okay. Sure, that's a great idea. <laughs> All right, let's move Moving on. Moving on. Um, okay, some of the other things we got. Yeah, um, th those are all the things we bought. Actually, no, there's well, one more thing we bought. Four we bought more these. Th yeah, we bought those. Okay, so these are the, um, from Pirate Night. Let me show you what these look like. These were the the mugs that we got. You'll you see could, it in our- There's a skull there and they turn on, light up. You'll see it in our video from Pirate Night. So we had our drinks in these on Pirate Night. So that was fun. Oh. And they're really cute. So that was one of those things where at the time I was like, oh yeah, we're not gonna be here again. We should definitely get those. And I'm sorry that I didn't think about that when you wanted that Wonder Mug. But, but I know that you're happy that I'm happy with this I one, right? I am so happy that you're happy, sweetie. Good. Yep. Okay, um, some other things. Oh, so we also got these beads Tiana's place. at Tiana's Place. Yep. And those, the, those go to pretty much everyone when they have the Mardi Gras dinner. Uh, for Tiana's place, and so everyone gets some beads, and it's really fun. You get to put them around your neck and wear them. And mm -hmm. Alyssa kept wearing them, I think. The Dove chocolate. Mm -hmm. We had Dove chocolate on our pillow every day, and it's been a month. And um... <laughs> all right, I'll wow! Know. Steal my mug and take the chocolate. I've been waiting a month. <laughs> Not bad. I saw Justin share in, in our Z Rolls video mm -hmm. when they did their haul. They used to have Ghirardelli chocolate. Mm -hmm. Which Dove chocolate, Ghirardelli chocolate, both really good. But it had like a Disney Cruise like design on the wrapper, which I, would I, be way better. I did see that part of the video. Yeah. Well, speaking oh. of our Z roll, yeah, we got their sticker. We we had seen them when we were waiting to get in um, uh, with our COVID test getting cleared. Yep. And then after we got on the ship, we ran into them by the pool, mm -hmm. and we were just saying hi, and they said, "Hey, you guys want some stickers?" And Lindsay was like, "No, thanks." I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so rude. But she, I don't know what she thought they said, but it wasn't stickers. She thought they said something different. Yeah. So anyway, we figured out that it was stickers. And so we all got our, our Z-Roll stickers. Yep, yep. And then uh, the legs, uh, Adam and Sherry, they gave us this card, which was super cool with a little Mickey cutout on it. And just said, you know, thank you for selling with us because we we're on the Leg Life Beaver Cruise. And on that, they in, in that and with that, they uh, threw this on our door, which was a really cool door magnet uh, that said I set sail and had the date of the viewer cruise, which was really cool. And what was so fun about that was walking around and seeing so many other doors with yeah. that magnet on there. Uh, I think they there was were, like a hundred. They were everywhere. There's more than a hundred people on, on board mm -hmm. uh, with that on there that, that had that. So that was really fun. Yeah. And uh, in that was also this Be Kind For No Reason sticker, along with uh, the I Set Sail, um, similar as the magnet. So that was I kind of I do want to point out that that is your water bottle yep. and I didn't even see those. So you took the sticker and I have the mug. Sure, let's call it even. Okay. Oh, on Halloween. I may not keep calling it even. But. On the day we celebrated <laughs> Halloween and got dressed up, they had two bags of candy. We even still have lots of candy in here. Mm -hmm. We have so much Halloween the candy The girls still. keep digging into that bag and other bags of candy. On Pirate Night, these were also on our bed, mm -hmm. which are these cute, um, you'll see us wearing them. Pirates in the Caribbean yeah. headband. Yeah. And so if you'd come on Disney Cruise Line and there's a Pirate Night and you don't have any pirate gear, at least you'll have that. Yeah. We have a couple more things. Oh yeah. These were also given okay, to us. Okay, so we, 
for first time Disney cruisers. We said that. Yeah. Somehow we got off the ship with two of these. <laughs> Which you're not supposed to get until when? You're not supposed to get until your second cruise when you're like actually like silver castaway club members. Yeah. Well, I know how we got them. It's yes. The first we got the first one from Joe and Cynthia. Yep. And this time we don't have to have a voiceover for the incorrect name that we were saying. I'm very <laughs> sorry, Joe and Cynthia. I kept calling Joe the wrong name um, the whole cruise. Yeah. But we know now you are Joe and Cynthia. And are you gonna say it one more time? Thank you for being so gracious to us. <laughs> Joe and Cynthia. You guys are seriously, uh, it was so fun meeting you guys and getting to know you guys. And we can't wait because they're going on the next viewer cruise. Yeah, so. it, but the funny thing is, we said their name in almost all of our videos. Yeah. And so then we had to do voiceovers in almost all of our videos, and then we just actually cut them out of some when we were talking about them, so. And I love that they thought that that was hilarious. But that's like one of my worst fears is saying yeah. someone's name wrong, and I felt so bad, so. But they're they're really sweet. Super kind, and then Sherry uh, Leg gave us the other one, mm -hmm. and that was really cool of them, because you know, if you've gone on more than just a few Disney cruises, you get one of those every time you go on, and yeah. I, I, for not for our sake, but for the sake of people who've gone on along for a number of cruises, Disney, change up your gifts. Like, yeah, not until we're we happy. Get, not until we get two more though. Yeah, we're happy with them, <laughs> but that would okay. be good to update them. Yeah. Oh, and then at Tiana, not Tiana's place, at French Quarter Lounge, which is right outside of Tiana's place, I was able. We got some drinks, and I was able to collect all four of these coasters. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about our tips um, as first time cruisers and things that we noticed. And for our first tip, we have a guest who wants to Ooh, tell wow. us about- a special guest. Yes, a special guest. <laughs> yeah, I totally don't come off on here often. Oh, uh, that's true. Know. I guess you're not that special of a guest. Well, you're special, but you're not really <laughs> a guest. <laughs> so what is, right, your, up, what is your tip that you wanna share with everyone? So my tip has to do with the soft serve. Was it amazing? Was it? Did, At how, first. How did it taste? So it tasted really good. Yeah, it tastes really good. <laughs> but it's kind of ruined for me because I had too much of it. And like, I'd say I had one too many, but I had like four too many. <laughs> <laughs> On one specific day. Yeah, it was like yeah. the pirate night, uh, the Cabo day. Mm -hmm. So it was really hot. So I was like, oh man, it's so hot. I have to cool down by getting soft serve. And yes, that's a good idea. Just don't have too much and have a lot of water. And I also wasn't having that much water that day, so. You were hydrating with soft serve. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good idea. No. So <laughs> the consequence was you missed out on some of the fun, right? Yeah, I had to stay in the room for like an hour or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we took pictures, like all in our pirate stuff without you, yeah. and that was sad. But you joined us for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. So and I'm good. really glad I did because the food was delicious. Oh, that was good. That night was yep. like the rice and the curry and the shrimp. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so. I think that was actually my favorite dinner. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. I'm so glad you didn't miss it. Yeah. But I think your overall tip is don't have too much soft serve. Yeah. And if it's hot, make sure you drink some water. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, guest. Adios. <laughs> Watch Hamilton. <laughs> That's our other tip. Yeah. yeah. I drink a ton of water, unlike yeah. Lindsay. Anyway. Um, and so I had asked in our Facebook group beforehand, you know, is there a place to fill up water bottles? And yes, there is. So you should bring your own water bottles. There are fill stations on um, deck 10 near the sport court, mm -hmm. deck nine near the water slide, I think on deck four. Yeah, there might be two on deck deck nine. I don't know. I've, I've, I thought I remember seeing them a few times, but it may yeah. be the same one. Thankfully, they were like straight up from our room. Um, but I, I, I was filling them up a lot. And then I realized if you go to the drink station, you could just, I, I feel, realized at the very end, you could just ask for water and ice. Coffee mug regrets. We yeah. talked about that already. Well, Basically, here, here's my tip from an experienced professional at this. If you see something you want, get it. Uh, yeah, just get it. Because when's the next time you're gonna be on a Disney cruise ship, let alone the ship you're on. So if there's something that like features the name of that ship, just get it. The great thing is if you get the first or second day and it's like a four or five, seven night cruise, you can always go, if you have a, a, some regrets a couple days later, you can always go back and return it. Yeah, I feel about coffee mugs the way you feel about stuffed animals in Alyssa's room. like. We need to get rid of some, not buy <laughs> That's more. Fine. I there, know. There are some we can get rid of. I know, but if Alyssa saw a stuffed animal she loved, you'd be like, no, you have way too many stuffed animals, right? That's how I feel about mm -hmm. coffee mugs. Except for I really love this one. So I just need to get rid of some. So maybe we should just get rid of this one. No, yeah. stop it, it's <laughs> mine. Another tip we have is the Palo, Palo has a wait list. And so if you can't get a reservation ahead of time through online, through online uh, reservations for your cruise, 
you can always get it through Palo. And so best way to do it right now is use the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. They have a guest services chat and you can get on there as soon as you get on the ship. You can get on there and request a spot for Palo and they'll let you know if there's a spot and if there's not, they'll put you on the wait list, which is what they did for us. Mm -hmm. And then that next that night or the next morning, they let us know there's a there's some availability. I went to the guest services desk desk to confirm it and we got the time we wanted and it was great. Yeah, there's some other things that we did through guest services app too, like talking about booking a future cruise mm -hmm. and using future cruise credit and um, using their lost and found, which we had to use for Alyssa's bag that she got. Yep. We didn't show yet, but um, she got this at Oceaneers Club and then she lost it and then... This is also a craft she made at Oceaneers Club, which is a Maui fish hook. And speaking of that, I guess we forgot to show it earlier, but um, here's the pillowcase that I guess she can color on and hasn't done that yet. So <laughs> some fun things that she got through Ocean Years Club, but also that you can use the guest services app for so many different things on the yeah. cruise. So another thing you can use the app for is adding tips. Mm -hmm. So when you um, go to a restaurant, there is gratuity included. All of your main dining is included, but if there's coffee or drink of the day. Or the lounge. Or, yeah, yeah, anything like that or room service, you can always add an extra tip on top of the 18% um, in the app. So that's yeah, nice. Yeah, it's super convenient. I love that way better than bringing cash on board. And we did, we brought tons of ones because that's how we heard that ones we were gonna- Ones and fives. That, yeah. yeah, that we were gonna be tipping, but we didn't give any direct tips that way. Um, we all we just gave it all at the end to our servers as extra. Mm -hmm. We just tipped in the app, so that yeah. was really easy. Yep. So another tip I have is to bring Dramamine. I have never had motion sickness in my life. I did not think I would get motion sickness. Everything I read said, oh, people don't get motion sickness on these on these cruises. Well, I mean, I didn't get super sick, but I needed that dram. I mean, yeah. I, I took it a lot. Just bring it, even if you don't think you'll need it because you don't wanna have to pay 20 bucks for it on board. I don't yeah. really know how much it costs, <laughs> but I, I bought the Walmart brand that was like $1.50 and you, you can't beat that. No, and I, honestly, I don't get seasick. I don't get car sick or motion sick. There was a few times on this cruise where it was swaying a good amount the first night I think I took it and I took it once or other, one or two other times during the cruise just to be safe because you don't want to get in a place where you're losing your lunch. I think that, that, <laughs> that is a nice transition into our next tip, which is for dessert, order the Miller special. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, because you, you want to make sure that you don't lose the dessert. Nothing. Yes, the, yeah, we, what, what we did was uh, the first night we didn't do this. Yeah, we, we built up to this. Basically, we would try like a few desserts, but finally we realized, why not just order all of them? Well, I think our servers realized, wow, they like to try a whole bunch of different options and share it. Mm -hmm. So I think the second night when we were at Tiana's, they pretty much brought out everything even though we didn't ask for it. Yeah, they, they brought out other things that we hadn't asked for. And then on one of the nights, that's when Lindsay said, we'll take the lot. Yeah. <laughs> she had a better accent than me, but it was so fun. And it was her, I mean, her best Harry Potter British accent. Yeah. So I um, I think I had one bite of each dessert most of the times. Yeah. And then if something I really, really loved, I might have two. And, and actually same with the regular food. We tried so much food and we never finished anything. Yeah. But we got to try so many things. It was so there fun. There was a couple things that I finished that were really, really good. So definitely a tip is to share, to try lots of things, especially dessert. Yep. And one other thing our servers did is we asked, I think for the girls, cause you know, at the time maybe they didn't have their devices with them, but we asked for paper menus and they gave us all paper menus. Yeah. Just to have a quick glance at everything instead of scrolling on a screen to see everything. It was really nice having paper menus. So if you go to the main dining rooms, ask for paper menus, they'll have them and they can give them to you. Yeah, they have the QR code that you can find the menu on your phone, but if you ask for a paper menu, they will give it to you. Along with talking about eating dinner, um, we loved that we chose the second dining option. When we first booked this cruise, which was a long time ago, our kids were younger and we thought that would be too late for them. And even now it's a little late, but I mean, not that they go to bed that early, it's just kind of late to be eating dinner because we normally eat so much earlier. It was perfect. It was just the timing really worked out well. It was nice to be able to do everything you want to do throughout the day and then, and, and there's so many snacks that you can have on board. Mm -hmm. So if you get really hungry, you can have some french fries by the pool deck yeah. a couple hours beforehand or some beignets or anything like that. But we love that dining and we love that we didn't have to get up as early on the last day for breakfast. Because if you have the second dining, then you have the later breakfast. Yeah, and that's that's a big benefit that I, I think really enjoyed. A few more tips we have. One is about getting a massage. If you have that Disney visa, which we have, um, you can get a massage on the day that you're at port for 20% off. You love the massage. I did. Like it was, you, you kept talking about it. You've had different massages, but you really, really enjoyed this one. Yeah, it was a great massage. Even though 
you did have to wear a mask the whole time. So that's part of our review about COVID. I was surprised to have to wear a mask during my massage, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. Another thing with a Disney visa is that if you book your cruise, you can pay off the deposit in six months. You can pay it off interest-free for six months, which is a nice break from having a, a lot, giant visa bill to pay off in one month. <laughs> A couple more things. One is just, we didn't actually have to use this tip because our luggage got to our room so fast since, mm. the, since it was such low capacity, but uh, people say that you should pack your bathing suits and anything you might need in your carry-on bag because you're not gonna get your main thing of luggage until later in the day. Yep. So ours came early because there were so few people on board, but we definitely wanted to go to the pool right away. So that was good. Yeah, we got there and I think our bags were there by like 1.30. Yeah. And they, I've heard they get there sometimes as late as four or five o'clock. Then one more tip I just wanted to say is about using a travel agent. Mm. Um, I don't wanna promo any specific travel agent. We love our travel agent. The reason we use a Disney travel agent is because well, first of all, you get the inboard onboard credit. Yeah. So depending on how much it cruises, you get an onboard credit. So ours was like a hundred something it's a, dollars. It's a sliding scale, so it depends on how much your you know your base rate is for your cruise fare. The more that goes up, the more state room credit you get. Yeah. So basically, we got all these shirts for free, and maybe the. Um, maybe that ornament too. We still love that we used our travel agent, mostly because every time we have had to cancel a cruise, which has happened like four times now, yeah. um, she just does it for us. We see on Facebook or wherever that there's like an hour long wait to talk to Disney Cruise to cancel. Yeah. We just send her an email and she cancels it for us. Yeah, and our, our travel agent has been so great. And uh, I think for Christmas, apparently there was a national travel agent day or something like that. So what I did, because we had canceled so many things with her, yeah. I just felt bad. And so we got her a Starbucks gift card. Yeah. Um, and she was just super appreciative of that. And so if you have a travel agent, Show them some love. And if you don't use a travel agent, definitely consider it. For us, it's been a really great experience. Mm -hmm. And for our last tip, uh, on our last video that we had, I talked about the app called Bounce. And for uh, if you are gonna be uh, getting off the ship and you're gonna be spending any amount of time in the city that you're getting off before you head to the airport, uh, and you don't have a hotel room you're staying at, uh, try this app out. It's called Bounce, and I'll put the link to the app in the description but it was really easy to use. I think a couple of months or a month before we went on the cruise, I found the app, I booked us uh, a luggage locker space, it ended up being at a UPS store, and they held onto our luggage for us while we gallivanted around San Diego and just kind of walked around, went to lunch, went on the midway, and just whatever you're gonna be doing in the city, if you have nowhere to put your luggage, Try Bounce, it was a great option. It was really affordable. It was only like 25 or $30 yeah. for all of our luggage. All right, so those were the main tips that we have. And we wanna just tell you about some final thoughts, including what we thought about the COVID restrictions. Mm -hmm. Of course, this was our first cruise, so we didn't have anything of our own experience to compare the differences to. Um, as far as a first cruise, it was an amazing experience. We didn't think that any of the COVID restrictions um, made it a less experience at all. Yeah, there's a few things, but for the most part, it wasn't that bad. I mean, we had to wear masks inside when we weren't sitting at a restaurant. Um, we weren't inside a lot. Yeah. And I mean, it was kind of a bummer to have to wear them when we were taking pictures close to the characters. But besides that, I mean, I really didn't notice the COVID restrictions. One thing I didn't love about the masks was whether it was other people who came coming up to us to talk to us or especially the, the crew members, like especially our servers, it would legitimately be hard to possibly recognize them if we saw them on a future cruise, mm -hmm. if masks weren't a thing anymore and weren't required because we didn't really even see their face. And so yeah. that was, that's like that whole personal touch, uh, that human connection definitely is lacking having to wear a mask inside, but especially the crew because they're wearing masks inside and outside. Yeah. So I, I hope that we get to a point where we don't need to wear masks especially the crew doesn't need to wear a mask. That kind of connection was just harder to make. Yeah, um, but just, I want to also make sure to say that we had the most amazing service. I've said it in yeah. other videos, but if this is the first one you're watching, having the masks didn't change their level of service. The level no. of service was amazing. We just wish we could have seen their faces. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think the main COVID restriction that was probably the most difficult was just, I mean, I understand and I'm glad they test before you get on board, but having to wait for that test and also just that fear of traveling and like, what if we test positive before yeah. we get on the ship? You know, that would have, that would have been really sad. And I mean, we would have gotten through it and everything. It just makes it hard to 
be excited about going on this type of vacation until you get that message that you're clear to sail. Yeah, but that, if it's a real message that is- <laughs> If it works. Yeah, if it works, which <laughs> see our day one video and you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah. But overall, I mean, I think people should, if they want to go on a cruise, it is safe. It's probably yeah. the safest place you could be. People are vaccinated and tested. Um, you're spaced out. There's not that many people on board. Yeah. Can I talk about low capacity? Yeah. Really quick. Yeah. yeah. With low capacity, there's a couple of great things I remember and a couple of not so great things. The great things is there really, really were no lines anywhere. Mm -hmm. It was very short waits for even the, like the, the water slide and other things like that using the hot tubs. Um, so that was great yeah. that there was low wait times, low lines, if any. One of the negatives about low capacity right now, at least from my experience, was there just seemed to be a low level of energy. Like in the main dining rooms when there was a show, we were sitting really close to the front because we had asked for one of those type of tables mm -hmm. and that was fun. I couldn't imagine being in back and seeing like how few people were actually sitting down for a meal at one time. Yeah. It just felt like, I, when I turned around and looked one time, it just felt really empty and the energy just seemed a little bit lower than it than it would be. Yeah, that, I think our table helped. Being in the front yes. was really helpful. So, you know, you can always request a table yes. close to the front and I definitely recommend doing that. So I know we've said it before, but we waited about three years for this cruise. There was tons of anticipation. Um, and it's amazing that with that kind of anticipation. When you play something up so much in your mind and you get excited about it and then it doesn't happen and then you plan for it again, it doesn't happen. You plan for it again, you don't think it's gonna happen but then all of a sudden the last minute you find out it's happening. It was not just worth it, like we would do it again if we had unlimited vacation with our jobs and the girls could, we could pull the girls out of school or something like that again. Like, it was so much fun. It was so great. And so the COVID restrictions didn't uh, make that any different and even yeah. waiting all that time didn't make it different We think that it is probably one of the best family vacations you yeah. can have because of the t experience you can have um, Separately and together yeah. as a family. There's so many things to do so much fun. We loved it We had yeah. such a good time. It was absolutely worth the wait the three ways We talked about that the cruise really exceeded our expectation was one the service. Oh, yeah, so great the food was amazing mm -hmm. and just the the fun time we had with the family but also being able to relax yeah. That's something we don't normally do when we go to the parks. You said food and it reminded me of one more thing I forgot to say What's earlier. Um, one of the things that we got and I put it somewhere else, but we got the recipe from oh, yeah. Paulo yeah. From, for the um, chicken Parmesan. Yeah. And our, our server had it delivered to our stateroom. Yeah. Which is an example of just the amazing yeah. level of service that they give. Um, and I was just wondering what you thought. Maybe you could tell us in the comments. Do you think it would be an interesting vlog for us to try to make that recipe um, for the chicken parmesan on top of risotto? It looks pretty complicated and I usually make pretty simple stuff. Like and you're supposed to get special tomatoes yeah. um, well, from a certain region in no, Italy. We have to go to Italy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we well, used to get the canned probably tomatoes. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, just let us know if you think that we should make that video. We don't usually do cooking videos, so let us know what you think. We could try it and see how it may be bomb, but it might be amazing. It might be interesting <laughs> if we bomb. Yeah, that, that might be worth the entertainment. And then right we'll there. just order some pizza. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, we're just gonna tell you that our next and last video about Disney cruising, yep. or at least for now, because we have some upcoming Disney cruises, but for now, our last video will be um, with our girls, they're gonna tell you their tips for teens and tweens and what their experience was like and how they liked Oceaneers Club and Edge. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos that come up. Uh, we usually upload once a week. So uh, yeah, I think that's it. Although in December, we're gonna try to upload some uh. extra videos. Oh, oh. Should I not say that? I don't know. Well, we're going to try. We're, we're, we're going to try to upload on Wednesday mornings in December. I don't know if you want to call it a version of Vlogmas. I gave the idea to Carrie a, a week or so ago and she's like, no, no, we're just going to do one video. Wow, is that my tone? Do I sound like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, this is Chris's hobby really, is, is the editing and putting together the videos. I'm the person with ideas a lot. Yep. And so um, I just have the idea, then he has to make it happen, which is way more work than having an idea. And she's really cute, by the way, when she gets this idea, she has this big giant smile on her face. Oh, I have an idea. 
I had some ideas for some vlogs we can do that he's gonna have to put a bunch of work into, but I don't really want him to do all that work because I like him to hang out with us. So I like to hang out with you guys too. So we'll see, we'll see. If we don't have videos on Wednesdays because we're hanging out and having fun. We might have some come out on Wednesdays this, in December. So our version of Vlogmas is, you'll see what Vlogmas. happens. Vlogmas. Uh, that's what I meant to say, I just, <laughs> you'll see. Do we have videos on Wednesday? Do we not have videos on Wednesday? I don't know. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.